How's it going people? I'm Waterfields1. This is the PS4 News, your weekly update on everything PlayStation. Let's go. First up this week, let's talk game sales in at number one, holding its position. Surprise, surprise, it's FIFA 15. I've already said it, it'll be there until Call of Duty comes out. A new entry in at number two is Alien Isolation. A lot of good things being said about that game. Again, it reviewed very, very well. That means that Shadow of Mordor has dropped down into that third position and Drive Club, which is our other a new entry has entered in at number five which I'm gonna guess is a little bit disappointing for Sony but there you go that's the UK chart for game sales for this week no surprises really good on Alien Isolation but like I say FIFA 15 will still be there until Call of Duty is out once again this week we have a whole bunch of Destiny news to drop on you the first of which is Bungie have announced that on a daily basis 3.2 million people play Destiny now that is very very impressive. Unfortunately, some of these players have chosen to hack the servers and gain access to some confidential information. They have leaked that information onto the internet and that information goes a little bit like this. Now with the upcoming DLC pack, The Dark Below, the current level cap of 30 will be increased. There's going to be a brand new strike playlist which will be open for players who are level 28 plus and I think that's pretty much it they've also revealed that the raid gear so the next raid so not the current one the new raid that has yet to be released the raid gear has been discovered and leaked onto the internet as well basically if you complete the new raid you'll get a full set of armor for your character now Bungie have got a good sense of humor now we're moving away from all the hacked information that we shouldn't know but we now know Bungie have put a little bit of a cheeky patch onto the game. Now the infamous loot cave, which has now been patched out of the game, has got a little bit of a tribute patched in. Basically if you now go to this said infamous loot cave, there will now be some charred bodies on the floor as a tribute to said mistake by Bungie, which is pretty cool, it's pretty clever, and you've got, to, you've got to applaud a company that can laugh at itself. They can laugh at their own mistake and they can do a tribute to it. That's awesome. So head on over to that cave and check that out. Now it is patched in this week. And that is... Thank God it for this week on Destiny. Namco have announced that Project Cars will be delayed until March 2015. The reasons for this are very simple. The number one reason is competition. They've said that there's too many games coming out over Christmas. If they delay the game until March, then it's going to be better for themselves and for the game, which is fair play and it's a good point. They've also said that delaying it gives the development team extra time to polish, which again, what, what more can you say about that? So Project Cars will be released in March 2015. 2015. We got some more info on SingStar PS4 this week, the first of which is the SingStar app is real. You will be able to turn your mobile phone into a microphone and use to play the game, which means everybody who owns a smartphone and a PlayStation 4 will be able to play SingStar. Way, that's actually awesome. I'm sorry, but that is a cool feature. If you've got a PlayStation 4 camera, you will be able to make your own music videos. The game's going to have leaderboards and you will be able to challenge your friends. And finally, we have a release date the release date is october the 28th so the end of this month for some singstar ps4 i challenge you people available now on shadow of mordor is a brand new patch that introduces a photo mode which means you can capture any moment within the game that you wish and then you can share it to all your friends that don't care that's available to download now it's the latest patch for the shadow of mordor big news this week with regards to firmware update 2.0 now sony have said that everything's gonna be cleaner, everything is gonna be user friendly, everything's gonna be accessible. So, reading between the lines, basically, your PlayStation 4 is gonna be less annoying, okay? After firmware 2.0, you will be less annoyed by your PlayStation, that's what they're saying. Now, one of the big features that is really cool is that finally, we will be able to play music and play games at the same time. Hallelujah, people. Hallelujah. But, unfortunately, it's not perfect. You can only play music through a flash drive or a portable hard drive that you plug into the PlayStation. You will not be able to save songs onto the PlayStation and then play them via that way. Well, at least that's what they're saying for now. Hopefully, that's going to be something in the future. It's only taken us 10 years, people, to get to this stage, so let's chill out here. The other feature that was not yet been announced, obviously, you've got your big things, which are your YouTube uploads, your share play, etc., etc., and your custom themes. They've also said that you will be able to now change the colour 
of your background. So if you don't like the current colour, you can change it to a lovely green or a lovely pink or a lovely orange. It's completely up to you. As of yet, we still don't have a release date for firmware 2.0, but we are expecting details very, very soon. Launched in Spain this week was the first official PlayStation Competitive Gaming League. Yes, Competitive gaming run by Sony PlayStation themselves. It's only in Spain at the moment. Next week, it's going to be launched in Portugal. And then I'm guessing if it proves to be a success, it'll be launched across the world. Now, the games included are Call of Duty, FIFA, and Battlefield at the moment. There are prizes for individuals and teams. I don't know if it's leagues or ladder competitions or, or, or whatever's going on, but it's taking place. I can't wait for this to happen. I love competitive gaming, and to be able to access it through my PlayStation just easy would be will be awesome absolutely awesome i'll obviously get destroyed every single competition but hey it sounds fun sony have finally commented on the recent psn outages yes psn has been down quite frequently your friends lists don't load your party chats don't work and the reason for this is that psn is being worked on that's the reason they have not said why the outages are happening we don't know if it's attacks we don't know if it's hacks or whatever but sony have said we are currently working on fixing the problems with their servers and psn now a lot of people are suggesting that it's just the number of people using the service is such a huge increase more so than what sony was expecting that the servers just can't handle it at the moment which may be true but sony have said they will be releasing a statement in the near future so stay tuned for that and the final story this week is all to do with gamergate now gamergate is all about corruption in the gaming media now i could talk about this for a long long time but i'm just going to go round and round and round so if you want to know more about gamergate go on to google put it into google and there will be thousands upon thousands of articles about it and you can get yourself in the know-how now for me i just hope this all blows over i really hope it just blows over people forget it and we just get on to enjoying games that's all i want to do is play and enjoy my games people but anyway on to a positive note thank you all so much for watching take two seconds out of your day smash that like button we hit 44 likes last week we didn't quite hit the target of 50 please one team one dream we can do it this week share the video on twitter share it with your friends get them to like it even if they hate it all right let's see if we can do it this week let's hit that 50 likes if you're new around here then hit that subscribe button i'm uploading a lot more frequent than i have done in the past so i'm going to keep that going again nothing more to say apart from thank you enjoy your gaming week i have been waterfields one and i'll see you all soon see ya